and marked it in hot magenta fluorescent Crayola crayon and hung it back up on the bedroom closet door. When the day finally arrived, Woody Woodpecker had flown away, carrying in his beak my memory of marking the day. It didn't matter anyway, because by then I figured out the answer on my own, which is a good thing, since at 14, using the word stiff in my mother's presence was no longer on my to-do list, even without a penis in the same sentence. And, and telling me to go to the bathroom to wash my hands was no longer on my mother's to-do list. She realized that at 14, once I went in, I might never come out. Commencing countdown, engines on. I'm stepping through the door. And I'm floating in the medicine cabinet mirror. And I think I see the budding wisp of a whisker. There was no shaving cream on my face or razor in my hand. That wouldn't actually happen for another couple of years. I was holding something else. <laughs> my two older brothers bitched and squirmed as my mother stood there staring at the thin, closed, working-class high-rise housing development wood bathroom door that muffled sounds but didn't block them out, then pressed her ear against it, trying desperately to maintain contact with the other side. Her sweet little boy, who before he started watching too much TV and later listening to too much rock and roll radio, would sit contentedly on the carpet for hours making up elaborate stories with his toys or drawing pictures like a prodigy with a short, steady hand far advanced for his age, might never return. <laughs> Hurry up, they all yelled at me from ground control. We can't hold it in anymore. You're not the only one here, you know? We've been in, you, you've been in there all night. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. And I'm floating in a most peculiar way. And the stars look very different today For here am I sitting in a tin can Far above the world Michael, are you alone in there? What? Of course I'm alone! How could anyone else have gotten in here? Ma, are you crazy? I wasn't alone. She wasn't crazy. The sounds she couldn't quite make out were the hairy armpit pheromone slurred words of Patti Smith telling me to take her now, baby, here she is, because the night belongs to lovers like Cat Long kissing Candy in her room right after she blew Lou's reed, wailing on the saxophone, walking on the wild side, while right there on the other side of the stained glass shower curtain he's hiding behind, the stranger is banging on his keys down on his knees in the tub in the pew before Virginia in her little plaid Catholic schoolgirl skirt as she takes Holy Communion on her quivering tongue from Father Ziggy Stardust at Our Lady of the Immaculate Contraception as I rock back and forth like a like a leper messiah, not sure if I'm a boy or a girl, davening at Temple Beth I Hear You Calling where the cantor is Peter Chris of Kiss in his cat makeup and the rabbi is Black Cat Eartha Kitt blacklisted by LBJ for speaking out against the Vietnam War, purring and heat in her skin-tight black leather Catwoman suit summoning Batman me and the whole congregation to rise and repent. Ooh, Kitty's back in town, here she comes now. <laughs>